Hello there, Libra. This is Soul. And Libra, this is your January 2019 general love and relationship uh, reading messages. It is for Libra singles, Libra couples, Libra moon, Libra rising, Libra sun, of course. All right. Just wanted to wish you all a very happy, uh, prosperous, uh, and abundant happy new year 2019. Okay. Wow. It's almost 2019. Believe it or not. And we have some uh, more, believe it or not, news for you, Libra. Terrific energies. Now, these are just general readings. So, you know, take out of it what you can. Nothing I say is written in stone. Um, you know, take it with a grain of, uh, grain of salt. Yes. All right. So, but we have some good energies. Uh, right off the bat, as I flipped over the cards, you have some very good cards. And I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, I was just picking up, you know, intuitively uh that there's a libra here um and we're only staying focused on relationships uh somebody libra go ahead and make up your mind about that relationship that you're you know not certain about or not sure about the reason why i say that is because of this all right and here we go so we open up the reading let me get things straight in here my mic out of the out of the view all right so we open up the reading with the um First, let me do the shadow energy. I always seem to forget the freaking shadow energy. All right, so we have the high priestess, major arcana. So this is already pretty good energy. So the major arcana is the number two. So that's indicative of a relationship or two people. And I always pick up the opposing forces um, in a good way when it comes to relationships opposing forces which i mean is like uh you know different race different culture different religion different country different state different town city uh could be a different age okay uh this is the shadow energy so it may be uh it's a major arcana so i feel that some of this is going to play out and anytime the major show up as the shadow card is is really um more impactful than just the minor cards in the shadow okay so pay attention to your intuition the intuition is here to help you this high priestess represents uh your intuition all right intuition in general and then also to the smoke coming out is a relationship that's mysterious or uh could be mysterious but that's not negative there's a mystery about this person that you uh if you are single soon to meet uh, and it's also to um, okay I was getting something else but the high priestess represents Pisces water sign energies and also uh, cancer and Scorpio male or female uh, yeah something mysterious there's a mysterious energy that could be uh, lurking in the month of January okay which could be you know favorable so we'll have to wait and see uh, what unfolds. Always appreciate you guys' comments as long as you keep them clean, all right? So if you looked at the other videos that I've already put up, it's, it's like I, I'm not dealing with, you know, negative shit in 2019. So leaving that right at the door in 2018, we have the overall energy for you, Libra, is the Knight of Cups, okay? You know I always like to get the cups here in the reading, right? So this is the knight in shining armor. Now this, of course, could be a female knight, and it could be that uh, the female knight is adorned by male admirers. This one here is a, uh, adorned by female admirers. So, but this is the card that opens up the energy for you for the entire month, and so that could be for um, some of you a new relationship. Okay. Someone who is coming along that is going to provide you with the emotional support that you're um, so been looking for. That could be, you know, the case or just an example. And as I opened up, I said that, you know, if there is a new relationship or you are in a relationship and you're still not sure, you know, make up your mind. OK, it's not like it's a do or die situation. But the reason why I got that was because. This king of swords is your energy and it's in the reverse. And that's always about uh, not taking action, being indecisive. And because it is a king and it could also represent female energies, it's a major decision. OK, but it's underneath the knight of cups. So you have two court cards here. 
the Nine of Cups representing the love and emotions and the support, happiness and contentment when it comes to relationships. But is there a Libra that I'm reading for that's currently dating someone or in a relationship, but they're not sure about it themselves? This is you representing your energy and that energy of Aquarius and Gemini, male or female. Also, too, I get the, uh, as I picked up before, just to show you the card in uh, the upright position. In contrast, the bright, fiery red robe also is energy of fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female for me. Okay. Something clouding your judgment, Libra. Something you need to get, you know, cleared up because this is a lack of clarity. Think of it as a cloud over your head. Not necessarily a dark cloud, but something, you know, that's possibly um, fogging your um, your thinking and your judgment. OK, but make a move. OK, make a move. If it's a new relationship or if you're in a uh, established relationship and there's something going on, either you make a move uh, to either get to the heart of the matters that are, you know, um, possibly causing conflict for you. Or, you know, stressing you out. And there's something that you're not certain about, sure about when it comes to your partnership. Just, you know, take action. Just go ahead and do it. Do it as, so that you can eventually enjoy some of the Knight of Cups energy for the, um, you know, rest of the month. OK, because what crosses that Knight of Cups is the Three of Cups. OK, this is partnerships. Now, it's the number three, so it could be a third party energy. I'm not spending no time talking about it. If you are involved, more power to you. And the Three of Cups in the upright says at least your ass is happy for the time being. All right. So celebrating. And since I'm putting the video up earlier for you, uh, Libra, this could be, um, you know, celebrating, bringing in the new year with your significant other. OK, or um, this is a social card and the night is a social card. Cups are always social cards for me. So it could be that, you know, um, not necessarily a chance meeting, but when you're out and about and you're celebrating the new year, there's people around that there could be a connection formed. Remember the shadow card, the high priestess, that's two. That's relationships, two people coming together, but this, there's an opposition in a good way uh, about this person that you may meet, all right? And I could be already speaking to or speaking about uh, some Libras who are already uh, in relationships and, and the high priestess energy still comes in, you know, for all those things that have said in the past. So we have the happiness card, celebrating anniversaries, celebrating New Year's. Uh, just happy to be in the company of others or with your significant other. And this is out and about drinking um, in a good way. Just, you know, don't over drink. Just, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, just don't overdo it. OK, <laughs> this is a lot of people here in this car having a, a good time and merriment. And this could be someone's, um, you know, when it comes to a relationship, this could be someone's anniversary, somebody's birthday. Also, too, in conjunction and celebrating. So we have the Three of Cups crossing the Knight of Cups. Always like those cups to show up. And then the Six of Pentacles is um, the card that follows the Three of Cups. Uh, and I, if I did mention it, it's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female with the energies of these cups that are showing up here. Then we have the Earth energy, Six of Pentacles. It's an offering, generosity. This is an offering possibly of love, okay? Now, it mirrors the Knight of Cups, the Knight in Shining Armor, someone coming to uh, give you love, give you emotional support. And now, also, too, to foster uh, not only emotional love and support, but uh, security and stability. Equal number of pentacles represents balance and stability for me, and this is an offering. Now, you could be doing the same thing. You could be doing, if you're single, you could be offering, um, you know, emotional support and stability to somebody in a new relationship. So keep that in mind. All right. But I'm reading for you. So I'm feeling that the energy is um, nine times out of 10, more or less coming towards Libra. 
you know, and not so much of an outpour. Uh, but it can go either way. It can go either way. All right. So it's in the upright. And then you have another pentacles. That is the page of pentacles. So this is the relationship. Now, it could be with a younger earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. But somebody's coming in. Uh, the energy of what this um, uh, page in the upright displays for me is the person is it may be young chronologically in age, but this person is very mature for their age. They um, could have some money, definitely could have some money, but they're also uh, ready to uh, share their resources and their, you know, whatever money that they have uh, acquired they're generous, okay? Pentacles are always generous. So they're ready to share all of those things with you. They like the finer things in life, good food, good clothes, good, you know, uh, good drink, um, you know, all those things. But this in the upright position is, uh, even though this person may be mature for their age, they're not selfish, okay? They're not overly materialistic but like i explained to you before they like the finer things in life those are the things that make them happy okay each individual sign um has their own unique thing that makes them comfortable um just as an example it could be for the water signs you know home is uh where they feel most comfortable at with the earth signs home could be included because that you know, uh, fosters a sense of uh, security for them, but it's also to the other things that are, are in connection. Those things that I had mentioned before. Okay, I don't want to far too stray, uh, stray too far from the subject matter here, but this is something new coming in, possibly, and um, we'll just have to wait and see. More good news is with the three of wands that follows. Okay, this is positive energy moving forward. Also, too, I picked up that uh it's a traveling card so it could be that someone is traveling or wanting to travel it could be a couple that's traveling um you know to a remote place or a getaway or traveling during the holidays um but it's you know linked to partnerships so think of that aries leo sagittarius male or female uh, again it's the number three so i'm not talking about any love triangles or anything if you're involved in one more power to you. All right. So I talked about this. Just go ahead and make a decision. All right. And I feel that, you know, because the King of Swords is showing up in the reverse, he's looking backwards. So that automatically is, you know, a relationship that's already started. It may have been in a relationship um, that you may have dealt with from the past. And maybe the person, um, I don't really have the Six of Cups. Uh, here to say that there's someone you know returning from your past but anything is possible but i feel that it's a uh you're looking back here in your past and it's based on a relationship um and maybe this person's resurfaced or the energies are still lingering and then you're not sure quite sure what you want to do okay that's why the king of swords is showing up in the reverse it just says go ahead and make the decision you know either you know Entertain the person from your past, Libra, or let the person go. Either way, you're still going to come out on top because you have good energy here. Um, if you are willing to, um, you know, put your energy out there to meet somebody new, if that's the case. All right. Hangman is, yeah, having to um, take your time, even though this, you know, it follows the King of Swords and there might be some sort of depth of you know uncertainty or something that is not clear to you right now or uncertainty or anything but the hangman says just give yourself some more time uh you know in the upright position if it was in the reverse that means that you already thought about it and you're moving forward okay so now just think about it a little bit this is a timing card all right so um the exact time is not known but i feel that it's um you know, short term, could be hours, could be days, but just think about things before you forge ahead and keep it all centered and focused on relationships. Okay. Now it might be just to throw this in here. The three of cups is over the, you know, over top of the hangman. Maybe somebody, you know, is evaluating or thinking about whether to stay in a third party situation or to bail the hell out. Okay. Shadow card energy, the high priestess, 
Trust your gut instincts. It never fails you. Do the right thing, all right? Now, the King of Wands is here. So you have two knights and the Knight of Wands. So there's this uh, whole aspect of a, you know, a relationship starting up real quick, okay? Real quick. This is a card of also passion. Uh, it's two people here on this card, so that's to, that's togetherness, and it could be just the uh, you know chemistry between you two, the sexual energy, and the passion. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female may be part of this energy. Yeah. Okay. Underneath the Six of Pentacles, that's someone coming to offer their love to you or, you know, wants to begin a relationship with you. Then we have after the Knight of Wands here, uh, Libra is the Will of Fortune, Major Arcana and the Upright. So this is a card of good luck and good fortune. We're not talking about monies. So, you know, it's relationships. So maybe this is the month that, you know, for those singles, um, you finally meet that person that you've been uh, wanting to meet. It also could be for the uh, Libra couples as this uh, card is um, I don't talk about it too much, but it is the fate card, you know, uh, a relationship that's destined to be together or fated to be together. I don't talk about soulmates or twin flames as well. So in the upright position uh, and talking about love and relationships, this is a, uh, a relationship that is destined or fated to be together. Now, what's over top of this will of fortune is the relationship, the page. OK, so it could be that someone in the month of um, January meets that relationship or, you know, that soulmate connection, that twin flame, um, possibly. But also, too, if you're already in a relationship, too, this is this is things turning around in your favor if they haven't been uh, in your favor in the past. So I wanted to throw that in there. And the final card that I have for you, uh, Libra, is another page. So you have all these people here. You have the page of wands. Page of wands mirrors the knight of wands. So they're that younger energy again. OK. And also to remember, I always say. Uh, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Eight of Wands is always news and surprises when it's in the upright position. So something happening very quickly um, surprises could be some surprises for you at the tail end of the month. Uh, it could be in relationship to, you know, your partnership and it's uh, traveling involved since the three of wands is over top. Um, it follows the will of fortune. It could be that, you know situation that I mentioned before someone is destined or fated to be together and when I get that that means the timing you know if you guys believe in um, uh, divine timing and intervention this is what I'm picking up here that there's somebody you're going to meet and you're going to be at the right place at the right time and it's meant to be okay so if you get yourself caught up in the King of Swords and the reverse kind of energy, this is where I'm saying take, you know, go ahead and make a decision, take action. Um, because it may be that person that you meet. And then you're not sure. OK, so good energy for some Libras who are already coupled and. Um, those who are looking for uh, a new relationship. So the possibilities are here. Um, so let's just see what happens. OK. All right. With that being said, from the rebel deck, the message for anyone who needs to hear it is it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. All right. On the reverse side, it says, get your head out. of <laughs> Get your head out of your ass. Pronto. The other message for you, Libra, is now this one says fuck feelings, okay? And on the reverse side, it says you have logic for a reason. Use it. Now, isn't that interesting that logic for a reason and, and the air sign um, King of Swords is showing up in the reverse, okay? <laughs> so you have logic 
and the card says for you to use it. All right. The Verisabilla card that was selected for you, um, Libra, in the upright position is Grand Signore. All right. This is almost like the uh, it's the King of Hearts. So this is in, uh, equivalent to the uh, King of Cups. So this is an actual person. So let me just read to you what it says about the uh, the great gentleman, the Grand Signore. All right, King of Hearts, positive card, very positive card. It can even represent God. Oh, okay, God and divine protection. In love, this man is faithful and has genuine feelings and intentions. He is truly a King of Hearts, for he has a great heart. And noble and generous spirit. That's what it says about Grand Signore, King of Hearts. Now it goes into greater detail, but I just, you know, um, captured um, the snippet of what it says uh, in trying to describe this person, who this person may be, if you happen to, um, you know, be at that place at the right time. And then, you know, what it says specifically about, you know, when it comes to love. Okay. But this is a good guy with good intentions. So hopefully let's see what happens. All right. So Libra, that's what I have for you. And I hope it's helpful uh, and beneficial. All right. So please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety. And um, again, happy new year. Until I talk to you again, take care. Bye.